What is this? I have no idea what this is, babe. Stop. Oh. Did you just stop? Did you really just stop? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm taking you with me to the supermarket. This is one type of video that I love watching. And for this video, I've been to a Conad store, which is a chain of supermarkets, but you don't have to go specifically there. There are tons and tons of supermarkets chains in Rome. I was, I have to say, I was a bit uncomfortable filming inside the store, the supermarket, because a couple of people were like really looking at me and I was like, uh, we're gonna get kicked out. Thank you. So we are at, outside the corner and we are about to enter so I can show you guys a little bit of what we have in store and what the inside looks like. This is the entrance. This is the fruit aisle and as you can see these are the prices. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, we have apricots already. Isn't that too soon for apricots? I don't know. What is this? Oranges. Cool. I've never seen that. So you just make your own orange juice from fresh oranges. That's cool. Is this plastic though? Mm. That I think is a bit different from the US is that we usually don't buy already chopped uh, and sliced like fruit. We usually tend to buy fresh fruit and then we, you know, chop it ourselves. But in case you do want it, we have it. It's a very small aisle, but we do have it. Fresh herbs, and these are 129 each. And this is about the size of one. It's not bad. I love basil. Rosemary. This is a bread aisle. And guys the prices of the pizza American oh we do have American donuts that's new cool we have cookies these are very Italian these and these and the ones below behind fresh pasta which is over there as well this is the fresh pasta and to show you the prices um, I have no idea because it doesn't say here hmm, no anyway these are tortellini or cappelletti I never know the difference um, this is all pasta all'uovo, I think. Yeah, those are fettuccine. Fettuccine, not fettuccini. Ravioli. And we have a different brand. Oh, these are the prices. These are the uh, like layers for lasagna. And then here we have the organic uh, section so all of these fruits and all of these weird things are actually organic I love asparagus and these are the prices this means per kilo so you if you want like some um, oddio melanzane so you just take a plastic bag actually let me show you so this is what you do you just take a plastic bag from here <laughs> do you like this one and you're supposed to also wear a glove I'm gonna tell you guys many people don't actually do that 
but uh, in theory you're supposed to wear a glove when you do that. So you just, yeah, you just take your plastic bag and you pick, uh, what do you want to pick? So let's just get a couple of uh, pepperoni. I think you call it uh, bell peppers, I think. So this is why you wear gloves, because you can actually taste, like, um, not taste, um, touch the ones you like. Every vegetable has a number, so you just then go to the scale, which is here or there. It's fine, okay. And you just click the number 41. You get, hold on, hold on, okay. You get it from here. So this is the actual price for the weight that you got. And then we can go back to our... So if you want, you can get either uh, packed fish or you can get fresh fish over there at the pescheria. Okay, so this is the meat that you guys see here is actually obviously it's Italian and uh, it's like fresh they actually prepare this here so I would say it's semi fresh and then they just you know put it in this plastic and package but it's not like it's old or anything and this is the organic section I think this is yeah this is chicken this is the <laughs> the cheese section parmesan and pecorino cheese and then we have fresh cheese like stracchino creamy cheese and over there some more cheese I can't show you too much guys because it's like actually this is the size of the supermarket oh, oh we have the gluten free section so glad we do here is where you can buy gluten-free stuff. Let me see if they have gluten-free bread. The, they have breadsticks over there. Can you see the bread? Here. Oh, or here's here. the bread. Products. Now here, I couldn't show you the exact process because there were people around the counter, but the way it works is that if you want some, um, how do you, that I literally just checked it the other day no I don't have it affettato I'm so sorry I don't remember the word so if you need some of these you can just go over the counter take a ticket with a number and whenever the, the there's a display uh, on top of the counter that you know just shows the number so whenever they call your number you go over to the counter and you ask the person whatever things you want like you just tell them I want like I don't know like unetto one hectogram of prosciutto crudo or two hectograms of mortadella and they've just you know sliced it at the moment so it's super fresh and you get it in a paper package and you just take it home with you i can see kinder <laughs> this is the fridge with the ice creams yay and there we have some more, this is all vegetarian, where you say, where you read vegetariano, it means that it's uh, vegetarian. Here we have the lactose-free section, so all of these are like uh, lactose-free yogurts and lactose-free um, cheese. This is like slices of cheese. Yeah, this is cheese, cheese, all lactose-free. While on the other side we have the regular yogurt. So let me show you. For example, this is the these are the conad products. So and they're usually more convenient. This is another very famous brand here, which is Danone. And this is the selection of yogurt. We have milk over there. Just going quickly to show you the price which changes according to the brand so this is the probably the most convenient one is the Conan one but then you have this is the Granarolo is another very famous brand uh, and you can have it either in this carton or in the plastic bottle oh. 
<laughs> Stop. How much is this? This is the regular price. Six euros at least here in Rome. There are some more gluten-free cookies and this is the cookies aisle. Kinda. Um, yeah, we mostly have cookies over there. And we have some more. These are very famous, Pavesini, right? Also this brand is very famous, Mulino Bianco. And this is famous too, right? Oro, like the or Oro talk. And over there we have uh, honey and jams. I like the ones, the branded, the Conard branded ones, these ones. They're quite good from what I remember. And they're pretty convenient too. It's like 119. Um, let me see. C'è quello di castagne? Whenever you see, amore, guarda il simbolo bio. Like whenever you see bio, bio, it's like um, this this sign here. It's a biological sign. Ah, oh, però le merendine, magari. I don't know if you guys are interested in merendine. This is a very famous brand, Bauli. This is also very famous. These are like usually kids snacks. And then over here you have some more brands. Whoa. Oh, gluten-free cookies again. Wow. We're conquering the world slowly. This brand is a very famous one for gluten-free Char. Char. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's German. Well. Oh, the Thins. Yeah, we have them too. Yes. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah. These ones are really good. They're very like rich and heavy. But if you like like rich chocolate cookies, these ones are good too. But these are not the gluten-free ones. To see if something is gluten-free, it needs to have this thing. This symbol here. It means that it's gluten-free. This one does not have it. And we don't have the... Oh, sorry. We don't have the gluten-free ones. Uh, the coconut ones, gluten-free. Do you like these? Ikado. Do you like no, them? No. Not so much. No. <laughs> you prefer, I know, I know you love Oreos. I remember. Entire aisle for Cristini, bread, breadsticks and crackers. For example, these. I wanted to show you guys the crisps section. Let me see if I find it. Mayo, promo. This is what we usually buy. To prepare pasta. Our own sauce. We don't, yeah. This is very cheap. This is the coconut one again. And this one has pezzi, una pezzi, no. like this one has chunks of tomatoes. This one is has not because it says finissima, which means like super smooth. This is the ready-made pesto that I was telling you guys, the Genovese one. Because you also have this is the Sicilian one, which is ricotta and um, hazelnuts. Let me show you the pasta aisle. So I know you guys are waiting for this. This is the aisle. So we have this brand, which is famous. Then we do have uh, oh, an empty one. I love this brand for gluten-free. This is not gluten-free, by the way. This is Garofalo. These are spaghetti, if you see that. Mm -hmm. These are farfalle. And this is 500 grams. 
so half a kilo for I mean this price you can feed I don't know like for I just eat like 100 grams of pasta so like you can eat feed five people but realistically probably four three or four there's a good brand too Rumo and this is the most famous one which I saw abroad too I saw it in the US too Barilla To show you besides the, the tea. I wanted to show you the crisp section which here is quite small actually usually have more a wider selection and um, this is probably one of the most famous brands San Carlo I love this ones but guys even if you see this picture here it doesn't mean that this is the flavor this is just an example of what they tell you you can do with this because these are actually all plain they don't have any flavoring unless specified for example these these are barbecue sauce flavored and whenever you say see something like classique it means plain it means literally means like original or if you see these, they are with olive oil, with oregano and um, um, this pepper, but the spicy ones. Where this one has tomato and basil, but we usually, I would say, most of us usually go for the plain ones or the ones with the with this like stripes with this pattern. This again means that it's um, spicy. Oh, this is new. Ginger heart. Why an aisle? We <laughs> yeah, we take it quite seriously. We have another one like this behind me. So these are um, okay. Usually like an average, a good wine, but not super expensive. It's around five euros even for if you get like a good offer but let me see if there's one that is famous for example Falangina this is quite famous it's 390 and it's a good wine and let me see Vermentino is good too wow this is the remainings of Easter and also this is so nice they have over there Easter eggs which are broken so instead of throwing them away because nobody would obviously buy them they just sell them for, for one euro each which I think is so nice because maybe some people are just interested like like a, like me I'd do that but they only have milk chocolate if they had like dark chocolate I'd definitely buy one because for one euro it's still an Easter egg you know oh this is the um, frozen aisle by the way what are you getting babe? Oh, the, the um, proteic ice cream. This is the cashier. Cashier. The checkout. Checkout. <laughs> you just put your stuff on the thing. You just get your stuff down there. We're not gonna get the bag. 